uh, this video will deal with how to set up the resource schedule in arena but first before you start please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button because it motivates me to do more videos and if you have any question regarding the video please email uh, this address send me any comment and I will answer it when I can okay so let's go to arena we'll start by basic which is create process and dispose I'm gonna zoom in by clicking on the asterisk button and the minus plus minus to zoom in to zoom out and plus to zoom in so I'm gonna link this if I click on this twice I will have a little cross so just and I click on escape to release the mouse so I have system and units and it is on average one every five minutes and this is the system out Okay, this is the service station. C is delay release operator. Okay, uh, this minute as well, and it is done. Right, so let's define. I'm gonna zoom in. So go to schedule, double click here to add a row, okay, time shift, capacity here, yeah, okay, of the operator, and I need to work on my schedule. So let's presume, let's assume our days shift is periodic. So what does that mean? Whatever we do on Monday, we do Tuesday, we do it all the way till Friday. And then we have two week at the day and Sunday. So if we start by Monday, saying the operator he has a 15 minutes break in the morning and another 15 minute breaks in the afternoon and an hour lunch break, saying the uh, the 15 minutes break in the morning at 10 and the 15 minutes break in the afternoon at half past two, and lunch break is at half past 11 for one hour launch a break okay and he works from 9 till 5 okay so in order to set up the schedule we have to be able to know the uh, minimum uh, breaks or minimum time slot in this case a 15 minutes break is a minimum time slot and I will tell you what do I mean by this so let's set the option here the Y axis, which is the capacity of the operator, it's always set to 2. Uh, and I will tell you why I've done this in a few seconds, few minutes. And the time slot duration is uh, the minimum time break is 15 minutes. And so we have from 9 to 5, 8 hours. 8 hours is 40 slots of 15 minutes. So here we do 45 and it's repeat from the beginning for the next day all I have to do is to set up one day of work and to repeat the next morning okay so we have this is my day from 0 till 8 the computer does not know 9 to 5 so you have it in your head so let's, let's 0 it means 9 1 is 10 11 12 one afternoon two three four till five afternoon so it's eight hours of the day and i need always the capacity of the operator is equal to one unless he becomes suddenly a superhero so i have to we have to fill up those boxes by clicking on the top of it okay so you click on the top to fill it up you click on the bottom to empty it so we have he's working from nine to nine to ten from zero hours in the machine to one hours in the machine what, what's meant by this like uh, nine in the morning it, it's equivalent to zero uh, working hours and one working hours which means he's gone is 
it's been working for one hour so it's 10 o'clock so he has a break of 15 minutes we leave it white we leave it empty and then we fill all the way so we have here 9 10 11 12 so he has a lunch break at half past 11 we keep 1 2 3 4 which every time slot is 15 minutes so 1 2 3 4 and we do all the way till half past 2 so here we have 9 10 11 12 1 and 2 half past 2 and we keep it all the way till 5 so in this way in this we, we stop like 15 minutes break in the morning an hour break in the lunch and another 15 minutes break in the afternoon okay so we go to the schedule i have to link it to the base on schedule and we have to set up the schedule name time shift and we run the program okay in a way between uh, 10 and uh, when he is when the operator is on a break or lunch he would stop working completely he will stop working completely and he goes on the lunch when there is a queue you can see like people will be waiting for him because the service and the arrival is always uh, sending people to the queue okay